Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to let's play Kingdoms of Ammo Reckoning on the PC. Last time, we snuck into, uh, oh, I guess we didn't sneak into, but we made our way into Candrian Keep, where we stole the ring, and apparently we poisoned it, or the little gnome guy poisoned it, and now we gotta get back to, uh, where is it? We gotta get back over to here to put the ring back. Why we can't just, you know, straight up kill Lord Indri, I don't know, but whatever. I'm hoping I can find a way into this section down here. I don't think there's probably going to be a whole lot down there, but it would be nice to, you know, just get down there. And yeah, we could sneak around, but oh well, we'll live. More fun to just kill everybody. They're all they're all respawn in a couple hours, anyways, right? So it's not like it's not like it's that big of a deal. Ooh, hello, lots of uh gold there. There has to be a way down to that dang little area down there. I'm just not entirely sure how you get down there. Like, there should be a doorway down there. I mean, there's enemies down there, so there is going to be some way to get there. I think. I'm not going to go through the entire area here. I'm just going to check to see if there's possibly a door here that I might have missed the last time I was here. Because that seems like it might be the only way to actually get down there is a door that I missed. See, that goes nowhere. Okay. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Oh, ah. Uh. Special, but I think that's just the door to the cave. Yeah, I was actually gonna say, what if the door to the cave leads down there, and that's how you get to that room? But I figured it probably wouldn't. And well, there you go. Now, see something like this. You think something like this would have a eventual room or passageway down to that cave down there? But not seeing anything. I guess it's not that important. It's just the little courtyard area that probably doesn't have a whole lot going on, but you know, it's just it's there, so we should be able to get to it. Oh well. Let's just go assassinate what's his face and get it over with, I guess. Yeah, because there's no doors anywhere in this damn area. Yeah, there's that hidden door, and that's pretty much it. Maybe you get maybe you get sent there some other way for another quest or something like that. And yeah, none of these doors are useful for anything in the slightest, so that's not going to help us out. Oh well. I guess it's just there for looks, just to have people patrolling around all the areas. I suppose we could sneak past her, but eh. Why bother? At least these at least these guards are reasonably tough. They actually take more than two hits to kill. Radiant talisman. Not bad, not bad at all, actually. Okay, Lord Kandrian, you're still chilling over there. Uh, I'm trying to think, can I get past all these guys, or just this guy right here? I think we can actually just make it past just that one right there, and then that would be it. Or they could all just, you know, come swarming over here. You know, let's have our little Fae Gorton dude do some uh, 
damage. Not that he's gonna do a whole lot, but you know. He's there, we might as well use him for some stuff. Yeah, he's not doing shit for damage. I mean, I guess he's mild distraction, but definitely not anything really useful. Open up. Let me in. Eh, they're not going to let me in. Oh, well. I wonder what he's going to say if we actually talk to him over there. Oh, I was trying to examine that guy. I was like, hey, why can't I Why can't I loot his body? Because, well, he's alive. You know, maybe we should use the potion of not letting him see us in order to get past him here. Because that might make a difference. Maybe if he sees us go in there, he won't... Uh, put the ring on, but he appears to be facing away at the moment, so that's nice. Let's sneak around here. Ah. Uh, let's see, who is... Ah, there he is. He's right over there. So... He's not too terribly perceptive, so that works. Perfect. He saw me. I don't know if he cares, but I think he saw me a little bit. I don't think he cares. Okay, well, that's pretty much it, I guess. I wonder what it'll say if we do talk to him. You know, just for the, just for the shits and giggles of it. What is it? No? Okay. You see yourself at? He doesn't really seem to care, he just doesn't give a fuck, I guess. He thinks he's safe, he thinks all his guards are not dead with their swords lying on the ground, abandoned. Well, if he wants to be a weenie who doesn't want to attack the enemy forces, well, sucks, sucks for him because he's about to die. And this pig looks pretty good, actually. Got a pig, a chicken, a loaf of bread, some wine. Some cheese over here. Very nice, very nice. At least he seems to keep his soldiers well fed here. Then again, that's probably the cook's job, but the cook's job, but he probably uh pays him, so you know that probably helps. I'll level up the Fey Gorta a little more, give him some more uh, skill points as I level up, and Eventually, if he doesn't get good enough, then I'll just uh, respec, because uh, I'm going to respec eventually, and I'll just take him out of the rotation. Well, I was hoping he'd be a little stronger, since he has, technically, he technically has uh, three points into him right now, I think. Yeah, he has three points, so he would be, he would be, let's see... Oh, he only has extra 25% damage right now. Um, so I guess... Let's see. So, a few more points, and he would, then he would have 100% uh, damage. I think the next level, I'll just go ahead and bump up the... Uh, the... What is it? The attack power. And after that, I'll bump up the... Critical chance, and... Attack speed, chain, whatever. Alright, anyways, let's go ahead and get over to Melglear. And we gotta go talk to the little gnome. But you know what? Screw it. Let's uh, get rid of some of our stuff real fast here. Right, let's see. Salvage, bunch of junk. Okay, never mind. I thought I had. More junk than that. Okay, get rid of you. Uh, get rid of that. I don't really care. Ten percent damage with magic. I don't know if I can get that out of that, but you know what? I'm not too terribly worried about it. Eighteen percent critical hit damage. I might try to. Eh, screw it. I was gonna say I might try to save that, but I'm not too terribly worried. Why do I have so little inventory space? So I. 
weird. I thought it was all going to be extra like equipment and junk, but obviously not. Yes. Ah, there you are. Have you heard the news? Poor old Lord Candrian passed away in his sleep. Very sad. Yes. You'll be happy to hear that Arian Rhydarn is the new Lord Candrian. Incidentally, I believe this belongs to you. Careless of you to have left it behind, but I hope we can work together again sometime. Okay, so 5,000 gold. I'll take it, sure. And let's see, you're dead. Indre Canary was a poor lord. It is better that he is gone. Now, perhaps, the guard can drive the two other back across the sea and make this land safe again. And Irion the is over there now. Are an honorable people. And you can easily see that they have raised Arian to be a just and virtuous leader. With Arian in charge of the Candrian Guard, they will take the fight to the Tuatha and drive them back across the sea. Well, good. That makes life a lot simpler. And you know what? Uh, we gotta sell some shit to you real You'd fast. Run along so actually, you don't have the. Uh, you don't have the shop. You'd better run along what do you have to say about Lord Candrian, anyways? Lord Candrian did what needed to be done. Tuatha came, he had to choose. Fight a losing battle, save that which could be saved. I'm just glad it was Melaglia that could be saved. Honestly, I doubt we're even going to see the rest of uh, any more storyline related to this battle or whatever, because it never happens. Stay a while. Okay, healing. No, I don't need healing. I As need. Had a choice. Go away. I need you to go away, and I need to find a shopkeep. Uh, who wants yes. to buy my junk? You? You return. How may have you helped? So no, you're, you're not a shopkeeper. Oh, I think the chick over here is actually though. And you know what? We should we should go back to that one um that one guy that wanted to buy, that wanted us to get that bottle of wine for him and turn in that quest for you know another quest. You know our labors of Hercules. But actually, I want to see if we can go back to Cadrian Keep and talk to talk to Adrian. I notice he's back to male guards instead of female guards. Not that it really matters. Let's see. Adrian, right arm. Yeah, we can dash through here real fast. It's not going to take too long, I don't think. And if it does, well. Oh, well. Well, I guess he does have uh, the female guards again. Never mind. I guess the outside is just the men and the women are on the inside for some reason. I mean, not that it really matters how you station your guards, it's just they seem to have a penchant for women guards, I guess. Nothing wrong with that. Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not here to kill you, Adrian. I just want to see how you're handling the duties as, you know, the new lord of the I did realm. I not expect to become lord of Candrian, but... I will do my best to see that this land is safe for all those who dwell here. Oh. I thought we met you already, but maybe we just didn't talk to you. This is not the fate I would have chosen for myself. But I will try hard to do what is right. From all the stories I've heard, Candrian was the greatest region in all of Erethel. I vow to return this land to the glories of its past. I don't know if it was the greatest, but it was certainly one of the biggest, since it had two zones, for whatever reason. He was related to me by blood, but I do not feel any sorrow for his passing. He was a poor ruler, and the people of Candrian are better off without his negligent rule. I won't forget the kindness the villagers have shown me since I arrived. I will make sure that Mel Adler achieves the greatest that its people deserve. I envision it becoming a city one day, one that will rival any in Amalur. You might have a, your work cut out though, because some of those cities are pretty big, so especially Rathir, that looks like it's going to be a big place to explore, so good luck. I will drive them from Candrian. After I am through, they will never return to these shores. Well, do what you can. Don't make any promises you can't keep. 
why is there uh oh, there's just stuff to explore over there. I don't really care about that though. Anyways, um what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something about something, but I forget what the something about what was. Okay, now we're going back to the wine guy to talk to him. And then we'll probably go up to where is it? Tywilly Coast there. But I was gonna say, I wish you I wish you could donate money to like the various towns, or whatever, like uh like these guys here in Tyrion's Rest or whatever. If you could just donate a couple couple thousand gold or whatever to help the refugees or you know stuff like that or maybe donate some so donate some gold to Tyrion's Rest over here to or Mel Glare I mean to help him with the war effort or whatever it'd be a nice little touch alright anyways back to Hail, Wanderer. Back to the wine lord. Let's see, you were. We're not the wine lord, but you know. Durful. There you go. Durful is Snurful. Wasn't that. Wasn't Snurfles like the name of like a. Uh, something in like the Smurfs? Weren't they like the evil Smurfs or something? No? Or it was a Snarful or something. Something old. I don't remember exactly. It's been too long since I've seen Smurfs and I have not watched the. Hello there. The movie. Or the movies of them yet, so. Probably not going to either. I trust everything went well delivering the letter to Mattix Dace? I'm not sure he took kindly to it. Regardless, you have completed the second labor. Yay. For your next labor, I need you to retrieve a sword, Hellbane, of the body of a great Varani blademaster known as Three Swords. Okay, uh, you know what? Tell me of the Hellbane stuff first, then I'll actually do the other stuff. Why not? News has recently come to me of the fall of a great Varani blademaster known as Three Swords. He bested me, and instead of taking my life, he took my sword, Hellbane. I want you to find where Three Swords died and retrieve the weapon. Sure. He was called Three Swords for the three weapons he favored. He was one of the only mortals I've ever known to master the challenging art of wielding the twin fey blades. I'm sure that Tuatha paid a mighty butcher's bill for it. Travel to the Tuwili coast, search near the shore, and follow the Tuatha bodies. Three swords will not have fallen easily. Okay, so he's in, ta he's in a Tuathi co Tywili coast, which we need to go to anyway, so that works out. Cool. And that's the last region of Aerithal besides Rathir that we have to explore. And then we'll head over to Daytir oh, later. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I guess you're... Oh, I guess that does count as being in um, Candria. Or not Ty not Candria, Tywili Coast for whatever reason. I don't know why, but... It's weird that they merge them like that, but I'm not, I'm not too terribly concerned about it. Okay, let's see. Uh, all right, right there. We're gonna get that eventually. Hololens of Daytir. We'll get to that later. These are DLC. Unquiet Bride. Where is Tuon? Anyways, I forget. Oh, Tuon's right there. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that, since that is. Pretty much right near. It's still in Candrian, technically. So that would actually be reasonably decent. Star Coast, we're not going to get there yet. Uh, let's see. Durful's Labors, okay, that's, we know where that's at. Cure Seeker, you're way down in. Uh, yeah, Apple Tear for whatever reason, so that's still quite a way away. Cone, uh, that's in. That's in Tywilly Coast, I think. Dessert is Desserts. Those are also going to be in Tywilly Coast. Dove Arn. Where is... Oh, Dove Arn is over... Right there. I forgot about that quest, actually. And Treasures of Coal, you are also in Tywilly Coast. Well, actually, no, you're in the... Oh, you're in Rathir. Okay. I thought you were in uh, Tywilly Coast, which is, I guess, kind of near the... Uh, what is it? Right here. Actually, you know what? Let's go turn this in real fast. The crude oxen, whatever. Just for the heck of it. 
All right, so let's make our way to. Let's see, I forgot where you were, dude. It's been a while. I think you were down here. Yeah, Dove Whale. But I can't be certain of that. Surprised he still gave me 175 experience there. They give reasonably decent experience for being gray enemies. Usually, that means in a lot of like uh, games, especially online games, if they're gray names, that means they're not going to give you any experience. They, they might still give you like loot, but experience, no. Okay, you little fire bomb, you little firecracker, you. You know what? Screw you guys. Ah, there you go. I do love that Mark of Flame. I didn't like it at first, since it was kind of—I thought it was kind of a weenie attack. But it does really good damage just overall for being very surprising. Actually, it's a shame you don't get like a mount in this game to go faster. But it's not that big of a deal. And you are way the heck over there, you rat bastard. Okay. At least the dash works reasonably fast. So that makes life easy. And I'm probably not going to repick up the quest just because... No, I guess you could because they don't take up many slots in your inventory. And you could still go ahead and just randomly kill them and come back here if you remember. The only problem is actually remembering... And you get, what, a couple thousand gold out of it, so it's may not be completely worth it, but it's worth it enough, I guess. Ah, hello, fella. Oh. Oh, the little... Oh, he's helping me. I was about to say the little gnome guy's attacking him, but the little gnome guy's our friend. Nice. He has some cool attacks for being a little gnome. I like... He has his little whirlwind attack and his little three fireball attack. He has some good stuff going on. The monsters are dropping like flies, I hope. Yes, sir. Here you go. Just would you like to continue helping me? Yeah. Now I'm finished for now, cause honestly, that's really not even that. That's really not even worth it. It's for under three thousand gold. Sorry, bud. I mean, I appreciate the offer, but no thanks. Okay, here in Toulon is where we're going to find these guys. Which worked out pretty well. And we're supposed to be looking for, I forget what, uh, the Bride, I think. Unquiet Bride, that's our quest. And she is somewhere in here. I thought we went in here already. I guess not. And I'm seeing lots of traps and stuff here. That's never good. Anytime I see traps, I don't ever see them until I actually step over them like that one right there. At least they're not the, the snappy, snappy plants or whatever. Did I already disarm you? No. Wait, so there's bear traps in here. Uh, does that mean there's actually bears in here? Or are they just setting them for just, you know, chumpy McChump chump that happens to walk by into them? Probably just for a chumpy. Yeah, because you don't look like a bear, really. I mean, if you are, well, you're a little different than what the normal bears look like. But it's up to you. I'm not going to judge. There you go. Nice and easy like. And what do you got for me? You got fine hex wave shoes. Why not? I'll take them. Let's see here. Kobolds. Bear traps. Bear traps. Bear traps. Lots and lots of bear traps for days for some reason. Doesn't seem like it's going to be a too terribly big area though. 
Eh, you're safe in there for now, you little chicken bastards. For now, until I find out a way to kill you. Alright, tag that guy right there that's not tagged. There you go. Oh, he's still alive. Come on, get him. Hey, I didn't think I... I thought I said don't redo it. Huh. I could have swore I pressed uh, don't redo it, but oh well. If I ever remember to... If I ever remember to turn him in after killing uh, Etins and Kudox and whatever, then an extra 2,000 gold. Not really worth it, though. I thought it was like more like the... What is it? The collecting armbands quest where you got a couple, like a couple tens of thousands, like ten thousand, twenty thousand, like that. But and eh, for five thousand, it's really not that big of a deal. Or two, th like not even five thousand. It's what, like three thousand even? And I think you snapped me, but you know what? I didn't even feel it, so I'm not too terribly worried about it. Alright, get him a big orchy guy. Snap him in half. Or don't. It's a good thing we can't friendly fire this guy. Because then he would be completely useless. I suppose he serves as a minor distraction. Plus he's fun to look at, so that helps. I'm surprised they don't have a bear traps in front of the treasure chest here. Since they have them everywhere else. You know, for being an easy lockpick, that was actually a mild challenge. Get him. We could let this guy take out the whole thing, but I think that would last for, like, forever. So, let's not. Ah, he got the killing blow, though. Very nice. Let's see, if we go either way, it's going to take us the right way. And it says Poison Mine. What's up with that? We're not in the Poison Mine. We're in Toulon. So maybe the bride is stuck in the Poison Mine, and that's why she hasn't come back. And these little... Oh, I thought I thought it said we were going into a Poison Mine area. Never mind. That makes a little more sense now that we... The heck? Oh, I thought they were on. I thought they were all in the ground. Yikes! That got me. Yeah, didn't even give me that good though. Uh, hello, Figortas. All right, my Figorta versus yours. Get him. Sick. Him. Get him. Or you can just disappear for shits and giggles. It's up to you, I guess. Not quite the way I wanted you to go out there, but... Oh, for a second I thought that might be the bride we're looking for. But like, oh, nope, she's dead. Sorry, we tried. Not very hard, but we did try. I guess we, I guess we could have just jumped down from over there to get down here, but yeah, I think we, I think this way had less traps overall. Even though they still managed to clobber me a few good ones. Let's see, are there any guys over here? No, there's the body though. Is she alive? Oh, she's still alive. Okay, I thought she might be dead. I don't know why I was thinking she was dead. What's the Engar doing sending a neophyte to rescue me? Doesn't he understand what's going on here? There is a necromancer in Mel Aglia. A necromancer? That's not good. I'll tell you everything you want to know about it. Just as soon as you stop the Morkins. Hey, Morkin, that's the uh, the shopkeeper dude, right? Or one of them, at least. Let this be a lesson to you, neophyte. It's always the quiet towns on the fringe of society with the real freaks. Hiding out in plain sight. 
Ethan Engar is one of the most knowledgeable and respected spellcasters in the Order. He may seem distracted or absent-minded at times, but trust me, we're lucky to have him on our side. Not an unusual thing in these times, especially with the Tuatha raiding the coastline. But Candrian's always been secure. When the Order heard of what was happening, we had to investigate. Something unnatural was at play. I'll tell you my whole life story just as soon as you deal with the Morkins and save this village. Well, you're certainly a friendly sort, aren't you? Look around you. Patrick Morkin's wife may have died from natural causes, but nothing natural brought her back. I remember this guy I now. I know, because I've been watching her walking corpse feast on prisoners for over a week. She and her husband are nearby. If you strike quickly, you can catch them by surprise and end this horror. Yes, I'm not certain which is more torturous, having to watch Patrick Mork and feed villagers to his dead wife. All the way he caresses her cheek as he wipes the blood from her chin. Oof. I thought she was going to say, uh, having, uh, feeding villagers to his dead wife, or you keep asking me questions about the quest. As threatening as his dead wife may seem, kill the sorcerer first. Once the master is destroyed, the magic that animates her corpse will dissipate. She's just an automaton, after all. We both know there isn't a magic that can bring the dead back to life. I'll see to getting out of this cell. With you distracting them, I should be able to escape. I'll see you at the Raven when this is done. Or, or, oh, I can just means, let you out yourself. I'm killing the psychotic necromancer who myself. has fed me to his dead wife. I'll just wait here. Eh, it's not like you're going anywhere. But yeah, like I said, I can just unlock the door for you. So, Be nope, stop it. With this stop it. Hurry. Go away. There you go. Oh, can only open another proper key. Never mind. Okay, so he should be right around here then, and we should be able to get him real fast. Try that again. There we go. Ooh, hello. Master's cowl. Eh, not so masterful after all. Radiant staff. Eh, tolerable, I guess. Alright, so where is the sorcerer not so supreme over here so we can send him packing? Ah, there he is. Chest, chest. Alchemy lab. That's weird, but okay. Kind of strange. There's a lab over... Eh, not really. I guess he kind of needs the potions to possibly bring him back to life. So maybe that's what it is. Okay, are you going to talk to me as soon as I get over there? More than likely, aren't you? Ooh, hello. Hex weave hand wraps. Oh, it's such a cool looking chest and there's not really a whole lot in there. I like that style of chest, so that's a really nice chest. This isn't what it looks like. Oh, fine. I'll admit it. I tried to bring her back from the grave. Is it really so hard to understand? Have you never been in love? I run thing. Your timing is impeccable. I think she's hungry, and you'll make quite the feast. So good of I thought she I thought he was gonna repent for a second there. I guess not. Okay, you know what? Let's do this the easy way. Well, that killed her already. That was not what I was expecting. I was expecting her to take a few more hits, and I was going to try to fate leave them together here, but I guess not. Wow. That was really weak. I thought, she'd, I thought she would be a little tougher. All right. Eh, decent enough. Okay, uh, before we go back to Urkara, where is this? Oh, it goes to his house in the village. Nice. That means you don't gotta walk all the way out of here. Okay, let's unlock uh, Urkara and get her out, shall we? If I can remember where she is, that'd be awesome. Did she already unlock herself? 
Oh, there she is. I guess she figured it out herself, huh? After all this, I'm grateful to be alive. And uneaten. It was lucky that you showed up when you did. I must say, I'm impressed, Neophyte. Few of your rank would be able to handle a necromancer of Morkin's power. I will remain behind, attend to the village. You should report to Savant Engar as quickly as you can. He was actually kind of a weenie, so yeah. I've got my work cut out for me repairing the damage that Patrick Morkin did to this village. But I'm glad to be here at least. It's the main base of the Scolia Arcana in the Feylands. Sometimes I miss city life, but I feel like I have a duty to this town. Small towns can be very charming, I'll give it that. We explore the magic of this world, for it is a powerful force that can be abused, as we've seen. Goodbye, then. Alright, so we took out the necromancer here, who was not as powerful as he was hyped up to be. And I think next episode, we're going to go ahead and just make our way into Tabula Coast to actually get started on well, Tabula Coast Quest, because we got, I think, at least five or six in there. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.